So we're going to come into our basic stance and dancing from there leads to deeper well-being and advancement and enhancement in your learning and your understanding. Let's bend your knees, tuck the hips under, rib cages lifted. You know by now how it goes. Deep breath in. And as we breathe out, really feeling that breath throughout your entire body, allowing every single cell to be replenished refueled and nourished deeply breathing in your own time we can add in with the breath movement perhaps a nice camel flowing all the way through raise your hands up we're going to travel them down the front of our body bring a camel movement bring the hands upwards Tonight, in this class, we're going to be enjoying looking at lines. So in the previous basics class, we spoke about clean lines. We're going to look at that in a bit more detail just now, plus we're going to add to our repertoire of shimmies we're going to return to what feels really good in our body to what enlivens us bring the hips all the way around into circular motion really get your hips moving warm them through all the more take it round the other way two circles this way wow now bringing the hips onto a figure of eight movement so as well as looking at beautiful lines we're also going to have a look at framing movements deep breath here hands come up to the top back down, flex through your wrist, all the way up to the top, flex through wrist, you can sweep through one side, sweep through the other side, you're going to sweep that energy all the way to your toes, other side, sweep all the way through, one, two, Three, four, 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 one, two, three. Circle the hips, other way, wow, figure of eight, <laughs> amazing, one shoulder forwards, one back, make it small. bit faster. Take my hair away from the mic. <laughs> if you remember last time we had a look at level changes, we brought that gorgeous movement. Nice. Deep breath here. Ah, and as we breathe out, we 
feeling that enjoyment of being reconnected into your body perhaps for the first time today let's bring a really grounding movement now just in case you're not quite feeling connected and down deep into body yet let's ensure that you're 100 percent there if you've been up in busy mind bring it back down into body the first of the three things that creates our experience in life is what It's your physiology. We're born into our body before we're born into our mind. The first chakra addresses your physicality and your environmental space, doesn't it? Before it comes to self-actualization, realization, and all of the deep intellectual realm. So we're coming into body now feel that grounding deep down through ah, so for anyone who thought belly dance was just a dance form um, in this class and where I take the dance to it's a philosophy it's life bringing that into stillness let's now have a look at now I'm gonna go really really deep here we're tonight going to be having a look at something that you might have heard of called the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio of beauty um, or to get mathematical you're looking at 1.618 what on earth am I on about well have you ever looked at an image or a stage setting or a person and you thought wow that is really beautiful but I've absolutely no idea why it's beautiful um, there is a ratio that can be applied to various things in life nature or created things artworks um, and it's the golden ratio the Fibonacci sequence if you like um, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that tonight so First thing that I want you to do is those of you who are joining me here on Zoom right now, and even if you're watching this on the playback on YouTube, you can do this as well. So the screen that I'm within, and if you're on Zoom, the screen that you're within, I want you to place yourself one third of the way into that screen. So for me, I could go around about here, and that places me one third of the screen. See what I'm saying? Good, I like it. Take it to the other third now. Go to the other side. That's about a third there, isn't it? Yes, okay. So what we could do is imagine that this screen is your stage, or my stage, and your room, perhaps, is your stage. And so what we could do is we could utilize that to the most beautiful aesthetic. So place yourself in that third, whichever side you like. And then we're going to utilize that same sequence as we create shapes with our body. So that might be placing yourself here and then also creating shape like so. Yes. Or you might create a shape that's here but within that space you are one third yes or you might create a shape that is one third through your whole being so if we place our arms out like this you've got the sequence here where your arms in that T shape that lateral raise create that third um, so I wanted just to play with me on that. If you're not entirely sure what I'm discussing right now, we're going to return to this theory um, in a couple of uh, classes time, perhaps next time and the time afterwards. But also what I want you to do is after class, have a little search for the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio now if you're watching this right now i'll get somebody just to type that in the comments so that you can all have a little look at it afterwards the fibonacci um, is really quite a phenomenon 
Okay, and so within that stage setting that you have, let's work with that tonight, either one side or the other, and just have a look at the beauty that we create as we do that. So for now, I'm gonna turn the other way so that you can see from uh, behind, and you can really create these same shapes. So we're gonna have a little look at creating beautiful framing shapes. So working with that knowledge now of the rule of thirds, we can raise our hands up like this, bringing the hands out towards the side, framing, yes. You might bring your hands onto the back of your head and pop your hip out to the side. As you pop your hip out to the side, so I'm just talking with you in the mirror here, as you pop your hip out to the side, drop one hip. So it really pops. Beautiful. And it looks absolutely stunning from any angle. Now you can shift your head one side. Nice. So another way that you can create really gorgeous um, rule of thirds with your body is almost sit down. So you're creating this gorgeous shape. Sit down pop your hip out to the side. We can frame the hip with the hand, bring one hand outwards or place it on the back of your head. So you're here and you've popped the hip out. And then the other thing we're gonna to do to create that lengthened, elongated vibe, that energy that's never ending. The universe has never ending abundance of energy. And we want to bring some of that nature into our movement so you could rotate a little bit through your femur through the hip socket so that thigh through hip socket here and then sit down into it and just bringing your foot slightly out on an angle all right and here's one for you here's one for you if ever you're somebody wants to take a photograph of you and you're like oh gosh what is your go-to pose Something that never fails to look beautiful, whether you're performing or literally just posing for a photograph. Whatever you do with your body, do this with your legs. So you're gonna bring your, your feet side by side and literally bring one heel in towards the other one. Yep. As soon as you do that and lift up, so you're here, so you're gonna extend onto the toe and bring your heel in together and then whatever you do automatically looks beautiful doesn't it? it just creates that very feminine silhouette wow so these are just a, a few poses utilizing that rule of thirds the golden ratio that we spoke about as i said we're going to do a little bit more of that in the coming classes for now, let's have a little look at some framing of movements, yeah? So let's really, really get moving. Um, so I'm gonna change this up, actually. So help yourself to some hydration here, if you would like some. And then, we're gonna explore framing movements with our hands and our arms. So this follows on really gorgeously. Often one of the things that people talk about when they get so far into their dance journey and it always comes up. I know all these hip movements, I know, you know, traveling sequences, but I never know what to do with my arms. One of the ways you can't go wrong is with your arms if you follow the movement of your hips. You can never go wrong with that. So we're gonna have a little shot of that. So I'm gonna face this way first of all, and then I'm gonna rejoin you the other direction. So we're gonna bring the hip out to the side. And with that, you're gonna bring your arm out to the other side. Bring it out to the side. Out to the side. This time we're gonna come into a figure of eight and we're gonna bring the hands round. And as you do that, you want to imagine that you're creating a wave on the water with your hand or your hand is like a feather floating through the air. 
is soft and delicate and you absolutely utilize that flexion through the wrist press your fingers in so we're going to be creating these beautiful shapes and so you can also frame the hip movement but elevated So you're echoing the movements. Well done. And so when we spoke about lines, so when you begin to bring your awareness towards what naturally is beautiful, you begin to notice shape. So you're creating shapes with your body. And so if I did something like, say I did something like, I'm trying to think of an example. Here, there's a beauty in the echoing of the upper arm with the lower arm. And so if I did something like an angle like this, it's still beautiful, but it doesn't have that fluidity that we're looking for in the belly dancing style. Bring it around to the other side. So again, if I did something here that's really angular, um, or perhaps I've stood here and I got kind of like this kind of thing going on instantly. Well, this is an interesting one because it could border on coming into something like a tribal fusion style and what tribal fusion belly dance has done is merged dance from all different parts of the world into uh, its own flavor is now a dance genre all of its own and so yeah 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 so we'll talk more about that as we go through in the next session let me nudge this on a little bit we're gonna work now on some shimmies. <laughs> so get yourself ready because we are about to go wild. Woo! Here we go. Let's start off with ones that we enjoyed in basics. A moment ago. Woo! Hip is coming forwards and back. Wow, try to keep your upper half nice and still and steady. Good drop through hip. Build it up into shimmy. Other side, drop through hip, into shimmy, nice, shoulders, forwards and back, pick it up, woo, let's turn it up. Drop, two, three, shimmy, shimmy, two, three. Other side, drop, two, three, shimmy, 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 shimmy. Drop through your hip. Shimmy. Wow. Combo one, two, three, back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bit faster. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Three, three, two, three, one, two, three, 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 three. Woo! Good 
Lindsay Moroccan. Ooh, shoulders. Whoop. Other side. Here we go. Choo choo. Shimmy in the world. It's Nubian. Did you know that? Full body. Finds your rhythm. Unique to you. Relax your shoulders. Woo! Take it back. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the slide of the hip, hit out to the side. At the same time as that, you got a little bit of a wobble shimmy. This one we're going to do just for a tiny amount of time. Tiny amount of time, straight legged shimmy. Tiny, tiny. Driving the knees back, 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 back. Yes. for you if you would like to undertake this challenge. I'm going to layer up camel shoulder shimmy. Well done. Woohoo! <laughs> wow! So we're layering the camel with the shoulder shimmy. Now let's try smooth movement on the low half with the slide and just try that shoulder shimmy up here so your rib cage is going to stay centered whilst you slide your hips side 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 so one is smooth and one is staccato Woo. Yes. now we're going to try change that up so what we're going to do is we're going to shimmy on the low half basic egyptian straight up and down and then we're going to try slide through the upper half. Now this is a little bit trickier. It uses a lot of core muscle control. You make that a little bit bigger if you want to. That's a really hard one. Yes, how are you getting on? Well done. <laughs> All right, let's have a little look at Smooth movement of arms, shimmy through hips, single leg there. Yes, well done. Try the other side. <laughs> Wee. Faster. Three. 
Wow, yes. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Into your rule of third. to the side, hand on head, other side, sit down, pop the hip out, wow, Oh, that was absolutely gorgeous. Really amazing lines there, beautiful shapes. Like I say, that's just an intro into that. We're gonna continue with that so that, you know, whenever that moment happens where you're dancing and you're in the flow and you kind of, oh, but I don't know what to do with my arms. You're gonna have some movements, that, <laughs> something tickling my nose. You're gonna have some movements that are go-to movements, classical, oriental, hands and arms, I'm going to show you lots of those, but also intuitively, instinctively, you're going to know what looks nice. All right, let's have a little bit of fun with our improvisation now. So this, of course, is a challenge, all the rage right now, and I'll tell you what, we've been on this challenge thing since forever. Uh, we're like the queens um, and kings of challenges okay so this one we're going to work with the ballady rhythm which is what we worked with before so previously i'd played um basic uh saidi so saidi being with the double doom in the center here with ballady the double doom is going to be on the beginning so it's going to be my rings off. <laughs> um, so in, with ballady, the rhythm of, of the village, it's much looser, it's more freeing. Um, so with that, you can feel free to explore and express whatever you like. It's quite an earthy rhythm because the double doom is at the beginning. And always, always, always in Middle Eastern rhythm, the first beat is the strongest and most earthy. I'm saying almost, uh, uh, I can't think of an exception right now. I'll correct myself if I do think of one. Um, but the first note is always the earthiest, unless I find um, an exception to that. So let's have a little short one just to zone out from anything that's happening up here and just flow into your body even deeper. Sink right down. Let's take three deep breaths to bring us there and then just dance whatever comes. So breathing in. And again, deep breath in. And feel that taking you deeper into body. And one more. And breathing out.
<laughs> wow. Wow. That was incredible. Well done. That was a ballady rhythm. Um, not my best playing. My nails are getting very, very long, <laughs> which makes playing tricky, but an interesting percursive sound. Wow. And so that was absolutely fantastical. Looking forward to sharing more of those shapes and more of the Fibonacci um, theory that can be applied to virtually all arts. Um, it's an incredible, virtually all um, visual performing arts. All right, oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. You can pop yourself on, on mute if you would like. In fact, let's have a little um, lovely cool down stretch, shall we? I think we've worked really hard there. Do you feel it? We worked really hard. Yeah. So I'm going to just pop something on. If you'd like to join me for a lovely releasing stretch, let's do that now. Wow. Ah, that felt very wholesome, didn't it? So here we go. So let's bring our hands and our arms all the way upwards, overhead, and we're going to cross them over in front of us, and here you're going to bring your hands around and behind you, releasing through the back and the back of the shoulders. Bring your chin to your chest, releasing through there, and gently returning the head, return the arms bringing your arms out to the side, bring them all the way in behind you, open up wide through your chest. And then release the hands down by your side. I'm gonna take one leg out to the side and we can extend a side bend. Ah, oh, that feels good. If you'd like to and you feel able to, you can gently bring that on diagonal forwards. And when you reach center, you can gently come back upwards one vertebra at a time into standing. Bring your hands out to the side or take that to the other side now. Bring that foot out and use that to really help you balance as well there. We can bring a side bend and keep the rib cage nice and open. If you want to, you can bring that on diagonal now. Bring it all the way round. And in center, coming up one vertebrae at a time, you're really releasing through the back there. Breathing in here. Deep breath in. You can sink deep down. We can forward fold. Bring your crown of your head down and the tailbone upwards, really releasing through the back. Let that be the main focus. But if you want to, you can extend through the back of your legs as well for a deep stretch through the hamstrings. And then returning into center as we gradually bring ourselves back upwards one vertebrae at a time. You can sweep your hair out of the way if it's in front of you. You can walk your feet slightly inwards. I'm gonna bring our stance out here, pivoting around towards one side and a gentle lunge. You've got to twist through your waist, but your legs and your knees are pointing off to the side, opening up a deep stretch with the back of your leg. Just return that into center and you can pivot through the heel there and round to the other side, bringing both toes together and keeping that open through the front if that feels good for you you can take out that spinal twist if it feels better for you and just be right here but if you'd like to double up with that release you can bring it there deep breath in breathing out gently returning walk your feet into center bring your hands down one hand comes over towards your ear bring the head out to the side bring it on diagonal and round towards chin to chest if that's nice for you take your time as you turn the head into center return your arm on the other side 
and bring the ear over towards our shoulder bring it on diagonal if that feels good for you and returning into center there in its center that hand comes all of the way around ah deep breath in as you breathe out take a moment to notice how you feel now striking a power pose in four three two one Woohoo! <laughs> wow amazing that was amazing you are amazing <laughs> wow <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.